Hey guys, my name is Wendy Ivey and I'm the school counselor here at Carolina Beach Elementary School. We wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about who makes up the student support team at our school. But before I do, I'd like to give a special shout out to our new kindergarten kiddos in Ms. Jackson's class, Ms. Taylor Joyce's class, and Ms. McCroskey's class. We are so excited that you guys are joining us this year. Also, a warm welcome to our new students that are joining us from other schools, as well as some students that are joining us from being homeschooled. So we are really excited that you guys are all with us this year, and we hope that you guys will grow to love our school as much as we do. A little bit about me. I went to college at UNCW and grad school at NC State. So I love going to Seahawk basketball games and NC State football games and the in the fall, that's one of our favorite things to do as a family. But before becoming a school counselor, I taught fourth and fifth graders for seven years. And it's hard to believe that I have worked in a school for over 20 years. Oh my goodness. <coughs> I have a really sweet family. Um, I have a handsome husband, David, a daughter, Chandler, who is a senior in high school this year. Oh my goodness. And we have three pups. We have two Italian greyhounds, Bella and Dante, and they have been with us for 12 years. And then we have this handsome guy here in the middle, Kaiser. He is a German short haired pointer, and we spend a lot of time with him out on the beach. When I am not at school, you might find me playing in the dirt in my front yard because I love to garden. You may also see me at the beach because I will go anytime the car or the boat head toward the beach. I'm there. Um, I love to walk on Masonboro and collect shells. Last summer, I found a really beautiful Scotch bonnet, which is the North Carolina state shell, and I was so excited about that. But I love to drink coffee and read books in the morning, and I love to go to the yoga studio when it's open. I am passionate about being a school counselor. I, I want to help kids have the best school experience ever because I believe education is power. You know, become as smart as you can, learn as much as you can, and then go out into the community and do great things with all of that knowledge. One of my favorite quotes is by Nancy. Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So what exactly does a school counselor do? Well, that may depend on the day. Um, you know, you may see me working with a group of kiddos in your classroom teaching a lesson. You may see me playing a game on the playground. You may see me having lunch with kiddos. You may see me, um, you know, working with parents and families. I may talk to a kiddo that is upset about taking a big test or a kiddo that's upset about a not so good grade that they're feeling really worried and upset about. So you may see me all around the school doing lots of different things. Does it ever mean that you're in trouble if you talk to anyone from student support? Absolutely not. You are not in trouble when you talk to us. We are here to support kids, help you solve problems, and you know figure out ways to, to do your best. So you're not ever in trouble if you are with us. We know that it's not always easy being a kid, especially during this time with coronavirus as the school year ended kind of wonky, you know, in March and April and May and June. And now it's starting in a different way. So we know that sometimes you may have some tears and you may feel like yelling or you just may have that big feeling in your belly that is just making you upset and making it hard for you to do your schoolwork. So we understand that being a kid is not always easy. And sometimes you might experience some really big feelings. Man, you might feel, you know, really frustrated and upset, or you could feel really sad or worried, 
we're sometimes like so super happy about, you know, going on vacation over the weekend or like a soccer game that you're going to be playing over the weekend that sometimes Friday you're like so excited that it's hard to settle your body and do your schoolwork. So we're here to help with those big feelings during the school day so that you can be successful with your schoolwork. I put this in here so that you might check this out at home. So sometimes, you know, when you're at home, if you're feeling like you don't have a calm body and your, your, your brain is just kind of all over the place, you're thinking about lots of different things and you need to take a minute to calm down. I've included two websites here that it might be fun for you to check out. I'll click on one so that you can see. It's called a virtual calming room. You may be able to hear a favorite ones is the belly breathing um, here with Sesame Street. I think you'd like those. So I'm going to include those in, um, you know, here in the, the slideshow that you can play with those at home because we want to keep calm and carry on so that you can go to your Zoom meetings and get your schoolwork done at home. So sometimes when you're in the school building, you might you know, want to talk about something that's frustrating with your schoolwork, something that's bothering you with a friend or something that's, um, you know, really hard with your brother or sister or something maybe could be happening in your classroom with your teacher that's kind of upsetting or really hard for you. Or sometimes, you know, you might have a difficult morning on the way to school with your mom or dad in the car and, and you want to get rid of that big feeling before you um you know, go on with your school day so that you can settle and, and be able to have a calm body and get your schoolwork done that day. So kids see us for lots of different reasons and you're not ever in trouble if you see us. And sometimes, you know, really tough things happen that make your heart feel really sad or you could feel confused about, like, why is this happening to me? Some kids experience their pet dying or sometimes there's like a really big change in your family and maybe, you know, your mom may have to go live in a different house or um, your grandmother may move into your house. So sometimes families experience really, really big um, changes and you want to come by and talk about that. Sometimes accidents happen. Sometimes someone in your family is really sick or someone that you love and care a lot about dies and then we experience things like hurricanes and now the coronavirus so sometimes your heart might feel heavy or you might feel confused or you might feel really worried about something and that's where we got we can help you with that at school to calm that big feeling confidentiality is a big word that i talk with kids about i'm gonna see if i can move this down and that simply means that you know, what you tell us stays with us. Like if you come into our room and you're, you know, having a struggle with a friend, I'm not going to go and tell your friend what you told me. Or if you're having a struggle or a problem with your teacher, then I'm not going to run and tell your teacher. Or if you had a really tough morning with your mom in the car on the way to school, you know, I'm not going to call her and tell her um, that you're really upset unless, you know, you want me to. Or sometimes I help kids have really, you know, difficult conversations with their friends or maybe with their teacher, or maybe, you know, we call your parents on the phone and have a conversation about how tough the morning was. So um, you can go on with your school day. But there are times when I need to tell an adult um, if someone is being hurt, like, if someone is hurting you or if you're really frustrated with a friend and you feel like you're going to get in a fight, then I may need to tell someone. Um, well, I need to tell someone so that you're safe at school and at home. Or if you make a comment about hurting yourself, then I would definitely have to tell someone to keep you safe. Um, and if you give me permission to talk to your teacher about a situation or your friend about a situation that you're upset with. Um, we can certainly do that, but I will ask you and I will let you know. As adults, our job, our big job, is to make sure that you are safe. 
Ms. Saunders is our school social worker, and I've worked with her for many years. And just a little bit about her, she loves to garden, and she loves um, to, to have beautiful flowers in her yard and also grow fresh vegetables in her garden. And this summer, she's really worked on um, riding her bicycle every day. And something that she may not tell you is that she has a beautiful voice and she likes to sing. And because she is working um, from home um, until October, she made a little video for you guys to know a little bit about her. So I'm going to play that now for you guys. school year. I hope that you've had a great summer and now you're ready to learn. I guess some of you wonder who I am. My name is Miss Saunders. I am your school social worker. Social worker, some of you probably have heard of the word social worker before. A school social worker helps students that may face problems or any issues. I help you solve any concerns that you may have. I work with parents, giving them information and resources in the community. And I also work with teachers to make sure that you have a great academic school year. I know some of you all may wonder why we're not in school. Some of you know, because of the virus. Hopefully, we will get back on schedule and be back into the building real soon. So if you may have any problems or concerns, or you may need someone to talk to, let your parents or teachers know. They know how to contact Ms. Saunders. One of the concerns that I have is to make sure that you're logging on to the computer. That is how your attendance will be taken for the year, and that is how you will get your grades. So, welcome back, and have a great year. Okay, sorry about that. So we got to hear a little bit about Ms. Saunders, and I guess you could tell she had two books on the the table there um, of Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat, that is one of her favorite book characters. So like Ms. Saunders said, she helps families in lots of different ways. Sometimes she may help us. So we have lots of wonderful resources in our community. We live like in the best community. And Ms. Saunders is another great helper on our campus. And Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson is our school mental health therapist. And a little bit about him, he's one of the coolest dudes I know. He loves to surf. He loves to kayak. And he spent a lot of time over the summer. I think he was like um, a nest parent um, for some of the turtles on the island. So he did a lot of volunteering, I think, on the north end this summer, um, helping to take care of those um, turtle eggs and baby turtles. And he also loves music. So Miss Saunders is a singer, and Mr. Jackson loves um He's really good at naming artists and knowing song lyrics. Um, he's really good with music, too. So Mr. Jackson, our mental health um, counselor on campus, he works a lot with students who may need a little more time than um, what I may be able to provide as a school counselor. And he also works with um, parents because, you know, sometimes students, we need to learn, like, new skills to help us be successful. But sometimes as parents, we need support, too, in learning how to be the best parent that we can be for our kiddo. So he is another expert that we have on our campus, and he's, we're really thankful that he is with us. So how do you let um, student support, the student support team know that you would like to talk? Um, your parents are able to call us or email us. Ms. Kim is one of my favorite people, and she is really good about passing messages along to me. Or you could um, send us an email. Your parents could email us. Um, also, at the end of the day, you usually do a checkout with your teacher. Sometimes that's a form that you um, fill out and submit. Um, or sometimes it's like a group meeting with your teacher at the end of the day. Um, but that is another way to let us know that um, you would like to speak with one of us 
for um, parents, another way for you to, you know, communicate with the teacher to let us know that um, you'd like for us to reach out to you because we are here to support your kiddo in the school building, but your family unit as well. So again, we miss you guys and we cannot wait to see you soon. I believe. Um